Summit. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the ceiling from the noise. I'm joined by my co-host Jeff Frick, and we're at the end of our three days wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Over 30 interviews, a lot of blog posts, great coverage, great event. But one of the things we're really passionate about at Silicon Angle is fostering innovation and sharing and, and providing open source content and doing all that great stuff. But one of the things we're really passionate about is um, getting the word out about getting more people programming. And our slogan is where computer science meets social science. And I'm pleased to have Anita Cano here from, from the GNOME project. Yes. Um, thanks for joining us. And Thank you. we want to talk about getting more ladies involved in coding, meaning bringing women and open source together. Absolutely. And, and obviously women in tech is a big focus you hear a lot about. Sheryl Sandberg had just recently wrote a book called Lean In, um, and there's a variety of other conversations. There's always debates around, oh, not enough women at CEO. But that's not about it, this is about coding. That's right. So let's talk about, and, and, and what do you want to share with the folks here? Let's talk about this. Um, well, I uh, my uh, exposure to OpenStack was through uh, the GNOME Outreach Program for Women. Um, and uh, I'll just talk a, a little bit about what that means. Uh, GNOME is a project that does uh, desktops GUI for uh, Linux operating systems, and they noticed in about uh, 2006 that um, they there was gender uh, disparity, and they wanted to work towards gender parity. And they tried a number of different things, and the um, the only uh, behavior that they found actually re um, changed results in how many women were contributing and how many women were going uh, and attending the conferences was actually doing internships. Uh, getting women uh, signed up, making a commitment to them, uh, sign, uh, and, and actually uh, paying the women a stipend for their work. And that ended up in, in um, more contributions uh, to the master branch, to the code uh, repo, uh, from women and also more women showing up to conferences and also uh, continuing to contribute. Um, that was uh, in about 2006 uh, and, and this program that uh, I was involved with um, it just, this was the first cohort uh, in January um, of opening it up for other organizations. Uh, OpenStack was one of 10 organizations uh, that took on uh, women interns. And the um, requirements for becoming a, a GNOME uh, Outreach for Program intern uh, was a be female or identify as female, uh, not have done the uh, program before, uh, and um, be available for the time commitment. The time commitment was three months, uh, a, a, work, a standard work week of, of 30 hours a week. Um, so that is uh, the program that I came into OpenStack with, and it's been really, really beneficial because that provided me um, the support that I needed both uh, emotionally, uh, technically, and financially, sorry, both uh, emotionally, financially, and technically, to get me over the hump. Um, in, with, uh, with open source, um, things are kind of in a raw state. Uh, they're uh, always a work in progress, so they're not necessarily uh, user friendly when you have to use them. And when you're coming in and you're coding, you have to create a development environment uh, in which you can actually a, a test your code. So make changes and test your code. And so actually creating that for OpenStack did uh, present some issues for me, and it was only with the, the help of my generous mentor uh, and, and the, uh, the whole internship team that I was able to continue uh, to, to have hope and keep going back and asking questions that I was able to get that development environment created and actually start uh, making contributions. And, and who was the internship with? Was it with the OpenStack Foundation or was it with a participating company that had 
uh, OpenStack work going on? That's a really good question and it's, it's really important to understand how this was set up. Um, there were three uh, sponsors for the internship. There were three positions and our three sponsors were the OpenStack Foundation, Rackspace, uh, and Red Hat. So thank you to those organizations for making those positions available. Um, they, uh, um, they sponsored uh, the positions, uh, but the money was distributed by the foundation. So the foundation acted as an administrative umbrella organization. The money then went to the GNOME Foundation, uh, who were the umbrella organization for all 25 interns uh, in this round, uh, and then they were the ones to actually distribute the money. So in terms of who, what company or corporation did I intern with, I don't actually know. It might have been a third the foundation, a third Red Hat, and a third Rackspace. Um, the point was, is that all of the money uh, came from the foundation, so my loyalty, my emotional attachment, and my gratitude goes towards the foundation. That actually freed me up when I was doing my internship. When I came in, I came in through one door, working on the Glance project and the Nova project, and then I moved around. I, I did a commit to Docs, I did a commit to Cinder, uh, and then f um, various other things happened, as they do, uh, and I ended up in the uh, infrastructure team, and so working with them. Uh, and because I wasn't uh, limited by any one company, I could uh, go ahead and, and follow my nose and find out what was really attractive to me and just show up and, and start diving into code. So great experience. How do folks get involved? I know, first of all, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate it. We want to amplify this mission. So for the folks out there that want to get involved, other women with open source, um, website, links, and what, can, what should they do? Absolutely. Um, if they're on IRC, they on the Freenode server, they can come to OpenStack-OPW. That's the channel I'm in. My IRC nickname is Antea. Uh, ping me, say hello, say you watched this broadcast, and I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Uh, if you would like to uh, contact Ann Gentle as the point person for uh, OpenStack Foundation, she's the administrator of the program, she'd be another good person to contact. What's her email address? Uh, her email address is, uh, she's Ann Gentle at Rackspace. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure of the exact syntax, but uh, but if you do a, a search in Google at Ann Gentle for Rack, at Rackspace, uh, you'd be able to come up with her blog page uh, and you'll get her email from there. Uh, and another way in is on the uh, irc.gimp.org uh, server uh, and go to the uh, OPW channel uh, and that's where all of the OPW mentors and interns uh, idle and ask for Marina or Karen Karen SQ, those are the administrators for that program, and they're actually taking uh, applications right now uh, for the next uh, um, cohort that, that takes place this summer, and they're actually looking for more people to apply and more mentors to apply. If there's uh, OpenStack people uh, and wanting to mentor and they didn't know about the program before, uh, please contact any of those three points and, and let us know your interest and we'd love to work with you. Nita, thank you so much. Obviously, there's so, so much to get involved in. It's an avenue to come on on board into the communities. A lot of communities are are, are welcoming more and more women. Also, the, the ability to learn. I mean, Stanford offers free mobile development. The tools to get the comp sci education is out there. So if you want to brush up on something, there's a ton of resources. You've got Khan Academy for the younger kids, but in the computer science, you've got Code Academy. You've got a variety of other avenues. And I recommend going to the Stanford courses on mobile. They're really on great online courses with the professors, great CS courses there. Uh, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Uh, we want to see more women in tech programming. Thank you very much. And uh, building code. And again, all it takes is an app in the App Store, throw it on some uh, cloud, maybe build some OpenStack Absolutely. in there. Absolutely. And uh, again, the job market will explode. Obviously it's demand. And That's so, right. So contributing, be having fun, and uh, building the market. So thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. We'll be right thank back you. with our next guest after this short break uh, here inside theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of OpenStack uh, Summit 2013.